Sean todos bienvenidos, como siempre, aquí a su Bienestar Único. Hoy tengo un tema muy especial, como siempre, para ustedes, y se trata de mente sana y cuerpo sano. Así que para eso tenemos un invitado muy especial que viene de Georgia y nos estará haciendo esta entrevista en inglés. Bienvenido, Emil Grafal. Hi, Claudia. How are you doing? Thank you for having me on your show. For the, for the knowledge of our uh, audience, we want to let them know that you are a certified uh, personal trainer and also a certified in nutritional. Yes, that's correct. Okay, that's why we have a, this uh, a special question for you. Uh, I'd like to talk about the vitamins intake. Vitamin intakes. Wow, that's a, that's a loaded question. <laughs> But, uh, so vitamins. Uh, why are they important? We need them. We need vitamins. We need minerals. Uh, these are things that make our body operate. Without them, uh, we can die. Uh, so uh, it's important to not only what vitamins you take, but how you take them. Okay, and also where do you get your vitamins from? All these things are important. You know, am I getting a uh, natural vitamin? Am I getting Uh, synthetic vitamin. Um, all of these play a role because your body has to absorb these vitamins. If your body cannot absorb these vitamins, then the vitamins uh, really don't work. Okay. So um, it's definitely important to, you know, have the right um, intake of vitamins. And also keep in mind that you can get these vitamins through foods. This is In an ideal world, the best way to get these vitamins would be through food, through eating healthy. But because of the food uh, not being so uh, healthy, you know, we are limiting ourselves of the vitamins that are necessary for us to, to live on. And we actually become deficient in vitamins. So um, I guess to answer your question, as far as uh, vitamin intake, You know, I would do research. I would, you know, uh, maybe talk to a good nutritionist, uh, somebody who's a functional medicine doctor that um, look more into trying to figure out where you're deficient in vitamins. And as you find out where you are deficient, right, you want to go and start adding vitamins to where you need it, right? Not just going blindly into taking vitamins, but no, okay, if I'm deficient in vitamin D, then I need to supplement in it. If I'm deficient in whatever vitamin and minerals, then you need to supplement in it. But to kind of blindly go into it, you want to make sure that the balance in your body is correct. And uh, talking about the difference, can you tell us about the difference between the synthetic vitamin and the natural vitamin? Yeah, so, so natural, when you're looking for natural vitamins, you would like something uh, whole food. Um, synthetics, they're not readily absorbable. Your body has a hard time trying to recognize, uh, trying to absorb synthetic vitamins because it's not natural. It's, it's kind of uh, manipulated or they'll take the form, let's say, for example, vitamin C, okay, And then they'll, they'll try to copy it, okay? And then put it in a pill and then you drink it. The problem with synthetics is that your body, you know, can't, you know, it can't recognize chemicals, right? So what does it do with it? Then it doesn't really absorb it 100%. Where a whole food vitamin, which is food-based, or even uh, a nutraceutical, let's say, uh, because people are formulators have been able to formulate these vitamins to so that your body can recognize, okay, and be able to be bioavailable, which is important, right? You want to make sure that what you're taking, your body is absorbing it and not just wasting it, okay? So it's definitely important to try to find uh, vitamins from companies that do their due diligence, right? Uh, they get tested, okay, even after the product is done. They get retested. They send it to a third-party testing site where they, you know, confirm that whatever is in the vitamins, whichever one you're taking, it's really in there. Instead of getting a synthetic vitamin to where your body doesn't really absorb it, 
and you end up, you know, just throwing your money away, to be honest. Uh, so that would be, in a nutshell, the difference between the two. It could be so much more said about that, but we could be here all day talking about synthetics versus natural vitamins. How you can see, or how, uh, as, as in your knowledge, know when the, the, actually the supplement is working on you? What is the, the things that you can see? Uh, wow, that's, that's a pretty tough question. Um, because to, to, to honestly, to, to know when, it, when something is working, besides people's testimonial, right? So if I take something, I go, man, I feel great. I'm taking this product and I'm feeling great, okay? And the mind is so strong sometimes, and this is why they do what they call placebo studies, where they give people stuff that's really just sugar in a pill, and they feel a difference. Now, that, that's only limited to a certain point, right? But at that moment, they're thinking that they took something and they feel great. So to really tell if something is working, everything is trial and error. You take something, you see how your body feels, okay? You have to be, you almost have to be uh, keen to how your body, you know, get, get familiar with the symptoms of your body. If you're feeling better, if you're feeling that you're energized, obviously it's doing something because if you go from not wanting to wake up in the morning, feeling exhausted, even though you got eight hours of rest, okay? And then all of a sudden you introduce a product and then you start feeling better. You start feeling you got more energy. You feel more cognitive, right? You, your, your brain is fresh. Then you know that it must be doing something, right? And that, that would kind of be the determinant, right? Um, like I said, sometimes people take things and it's not that it's not working, but maybe they won't feel anything. So you can't always uh, take something thinking, I'll give you this example. When I take stuff, most of the time, I don't, I don't feel anything. But because I know what I'm taking, I know that my body needs it, okay? I, I want to continue to take it. So I can't always base on how I'm feeling if a product is working, even though sometimes you do. So I guess it depends from person to person. Like maybe somebody who hasn't, you know, taken care of themselves very well, they'll take that product and they'll start feeling great versus, you know, me, I kind of take care of myself already. So when I introduce a product, you know, I maybe don't feel that the same as somebody else would, but it doesn't mean that the product I'm taking is not working. Yeah, that's right. It, it, that's a good point because many people, they want a result very, you know, soon as a, one week, sometimes even a month, people want the result. But uh, the mess in their bodies, they're so big that sometimes they, they you know, it's going to take time to, to feel better or feel the results. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally agree with you, Claudia. Um, they, you know, they, they have the saying, they didn't build Rome in a day, right? So everything takes time, but we're, we're so used to in society now, we want everything fast. You know, uh, order something online, I want it tomorrow. Burger King, drive through Everything quick, 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 because it's such a fast-paced society, right? But the problem with that is that, you know, it took many years for people to become unhealthy, okay? A uh, lot of burgers, a lot of unhealthy eating, and not that burgers are you know, bad to, you know, if you're eating natural ground, uh, grass-fed beef, it's fine. But everything in moderation, right? So, you know, we want, we want everything so fast and we want to start a program where we want to see results tomorrow. If I didn't lose five pounds in a week, it's not working. You know, but we have to keep in mind, it's, it's consistency. You got to stay constant. You got to stay patient, okay? And you got to work hard. So the key word there is work hard because a lot of us don't want to work to get something, right? We want to just, we want to, we want to land on top of Mount Everest. We don't want to climb it, right? So, and, 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 you know, to climb Mount Everest, it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of uh, dedication. Okay. Here's another thing. Dedicated. The first guy who ever uh, climbed Mount Everest, he had to dedicate his time to know the elements, know the mountain, get to know it, train little by little as he worked himself up to get to be able to say, hey, I'm the first guy who did this. But it, it didn't happen overnight, okay? 
and it didn't happen instantly. He had to work for it. He had to do his homework. And when I say homework, he had to know about this mountain. He had to know when I go higher, you know, what are the elements up there? Am I going to be fine? So it, it's it's a it's work that you have to put in. It's not easy. I'll be the first to tell you, you know, there's no magic pill out there. Um, it, it should be a combination. You should always want a combination of things to do and and just you got to work. But take control of your health. We need to be the deciders of our health. Not allow anybody else to say, hey, you need to do this. No, I need to do this. I need to research this. This is good for me. This is what's working for me. I'm going to take control of my health. Okay. And I do what it takes. And if you stick with it, you will see results. I promise you. Anything you stick with, you will see results. You just got to put the work in. That's right. That's, that's very important for our audience, you know, to understand that part because it's, it's, that's the problem that we have now, that many people want the results so fast and, and all, all the time, even the, the commercial or, or people out, of, outside say, take this pill and you're going to lose weight. As a personal trainer, I, I, I imagine uh, how you have to work with your, uh, your, um, uh, the people that you, you know, they, they, they take you to as a, a, a trainer. And, and you have to help them to develop that patient and to get the result. Absolutely. So the hardest part is trying to change somebody's mindset from fast to it's going to take time. People go in the gym and they think that they're going to lose five pounds in a week. I'm not saying it's impossible to do, but because, like you said, they look at TV and they hear these infomercials and they want to buy this pill. Oh, would this pill work for me? It might work for me. But to get their minds to change, okay, because that's important. If you don't have the mindset to do something, you're not going to do it. You know, if you come to the gym and you're already negative about, oh, I'm never going to lose this weight, you know, that has to change. So the first thing that has to change is that you're already convinced in your mind that you're going to take control and you're going to lose this weight no matter what it takes. And once you have that in your mind, then you can work towards that goal, okay, to get better. So, yeah, is there a psychological aspect of it? Absolutely. You know, you, you, I mean, I even have got to psych myself out sometimes. When I'm tired, you know, and like I said, it's not easy. I don't want to work out. I don't want to exercise, but I push myself. And when I push myself, Once I, I cross that mental um, obstacle, then once I work out, I feel great afterwards. And I go, I'm so glad that I worked out. But it's, not a, it's, a, it's allowing, not allowing that little moment of, uh, maybe I should not work out today, you know, and just push through. And you'll see, every time, never fails. After I finish working out, I'm, I'm saying, I'm so glad I did it. I feel great. You know, my endorphins are going crazy. Uh, you know, I'm in a better mood. So it, it absolutely helps out. So the, the, we can say that the nutrition and exercise combine and it's that perfect match all the time, right? Absolutely. To, to me, the, the most important is the food. Absolutely. 90% of, 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 egg, of health is what you eat because you can exercise and eat unhealthy but you're not healthy, right? But if you eat good, and let's say you don't exercise rigorously, let's say you just walk or you're just active, that's going to be good enough, right? Because you're still moving your body. You're still burning the amount of calories. You're eating healthy foods. So, so but the combination, it almost makes like a perfect marriage. <laughs> As you said before, the eating is the key, actually, for the the good health, and uh, it will be the exercise, like a um, something that actually help you with the chemical of our bodies. Yeah, so it it, it, it complements each other, right? When you when you exercise, you're putting your body through a stress load. Okay, but this is this is a good stress, right? 
And then what the foods do after you exercise, now your body goes into what they call a catalytic state where your body is breaking down because now you've exercised, you, you've maybe torn muscles, not in a bad way, and now your body needs proteins, needs needs carbohydrates, needs fat. It needs now the the the, the vitamins and minerals to repair, okay, from all the damage you've done. And like I said, it's a it's a good damage because in order for muscles to build, they have to be torn down, which, right? So it's interesting that it, it, you got to break yourself down so that new cells and everything can start redoing itself and what the vitamins and with foods let's say foods what foods do the right nutrition is going to help to put everything back together and rebuild but then you rebuild even stronger right so if you're a person who's building muscle right muscle people know that they need proteins why because proteins help in rebuilding mu and building muscles right proteins are are, are essential you know, they're the building blocks for everything in your body. Let, let's say if, if you can't get to exercise, but at least you walk, okay, briskly. If you're eating the right foods and you keep eating, you know, you elevate your heart rate here and there for a little bit of cardio, you could be fine with that. And especially people who maybe have physical laborious jobs, okay? Now, definitely if you have a job that maybe you're a little more sedentary where you're sitting down, I would absolutely try to incorporate a little more of an exercise. Why? Because, you know, sitting down all day, uh, it doesn't really help. It doesn't get the blood circulating. It doesn't get blood moving. You're not transporting oxygen and minerals. So you definitely, I guess, depending on what you do, um, you would definitely want to incorporate maybe the type of exercises, right? So if you maybe don't move around at work a lot, maybe your exercise needs to be a little more intense versus if you work out already in the field and maybe it's very laborious. You know, you don't want to overdo that either because you don't want to overwork your muscles, right? But maybe have maybe a little less of a type of exercise. Um, but yeah, that would, I would definitely uh, compare them to like a good combination. You know, they would be, they work great together. As a, uh, as a trainer, uh, in that part, I, I would like you, you, you tell us, is a, uh, is a specific, uh, as, as you see, is a specific exercise sometimes for the, for the, you know, to be healthy? So I, I would categorize it in, in groups. So you have, you know, the children population, the young kids, you have the elderly. Okay. And then you have your middle, which is between 20s up to 40, maybe. Right. Um, as far as exercise, it's, it's all dependent on the person. Right. You, you want to find or, or tailor your exercise that works for you, something functional. So what I mean by functional is you, you can make exercises emulate stuff that you do throughout the day. So if you're a person that works, you know, digging or, you know, doing something physical, you maybe want to uh, strengthen those muscles because you use them all the time. Or even something as simple as sitting down. You could do squats because, you know, squat emulates almost like sitting down. And uh, But it would have to be dependent from person to person and from group to group, right? So like I said, elderly, you know, you can't work out somebody who's 60, 70 the way a 20-year-old works out. They're, they're on totally different levels, right? So... Um, as far as the, the exercise goes, it would depend, um, which is which is great. It's kind of like food also, right? You want to make sure that it's special for you because the same exercises I do, not going to you know be as effective for someone else, right? But the beauty of it is it, it doesn't matter what exercises you do, just exercise, okay? And because if I'm doing chest exercises, let's say, for example, there's so many exercises that hit the chest. Right. So I don't if, if I don't like doing a certain exercise for chest, then I have an alternative. I can do this one for chest and, and by and that goes with every part of your body. You know, a lot of people like certain exercise that they don't like doing. You don't have to do the exercises you don't like doing. Do exercises you like so that you look forward to working out again. You understand? Because what happens, people start doing exercises like, oh, I don't like doing jumping exercises. Then, then they don't go to the gym at all because they just hated how they felt. 
you know, and don't get me wrong. Sometimes you have to feel the pain, right? Because that's that's kind of what exercise is. You're sweating. You're in an in uncomfortable environment. You're hot. You know. You probably feel like you want to throw up. You know. Th these are things that come with working out. But that's that's training, okay? And eventually you 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 pass those things and you feel great afterwards. So always think about um, the aftermath, right? Okay. I feel I feel uh, I'm tired and this now, but afterwards. I feel great. And you will feel the difference. It's almost like you said earlier, when somebody takes the vitamins, would they feel it? With exercise, you do feel it. You will feel the difference. You will feel that walking up the steps that you used to be tired and out of breath, now you can. Why? Because you, you build your tolerance. You build your stamina. Okay? So when you do that, you want to start little, slowly, go at your pace. There's no competition with anybody else out there. This is you competing against yourself. This is for your health, right? And 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 work out like if nobody's watching you. Because at the end of the day, this is for you. This is for your health. This is for your longevity. This is for uh, your quality of life. And that's that's the key word there, quality of life. It doesn't matter how old you live. It matters what's the quality as you're aging, right? Why, why do I want to be 80, but I'm, I'm you know, I, I can't walk, I can't do anything. That's not the quality, you know. Um, unless something tragic happens, then you have no control over that. But this is based on as much as you have control, then live so that you can age through the decades and still be able to have the quality of life without the support of extra, you know, pharmaceutical drugs maybe or you know all these other types of things that that really uh, how do I say I don't want to say it in a bad way but you know you it, like this you can't drug your body into good health that's that's never been it's always been about food and nutrition that's always been um, there's a, a, a Greek guy I think his name is Hippocrates okay and he's let food be thy medicine Okay, he was a Greek philosopher, but he had a point. But we could say the same thing because God has given us all foods to eat for health, right? He, he taught us what we should eat. He put all the food there. So obviously, Hippocrates just found out what God already had put. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Emil. Thank you so much for your for for all the information that you share with us, uh, the knowledge that you have about this, and of course, this. I hope it's not the the last time that we have. I, I hope we we can have another time together and to show the people maybe exercise later. You know how they can they can do. Uh, you know workout, and you can help our audience with all the the knowledge that you have. Well, I appreciate you having me, and um, I hope that this was uh, edifying and uh, uplifting. And, and don't get discouraged, I guess would be my my words to people. Don't give up. You know, Remember that we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us, right? And although that's applied in a spiritual way, you could apply it in a physical way. Let God always be your strength. Bueno, esto ha sido eh, nuestro invitado de hoy. Espero que todo lo que él ha hablado y lo ha comentado sea de su edificación como siempre. Los espero la próxima semana aquí en OBM Radio La Primera en su Bienestar Único. Muchas gracias. Acabas de sintonizar el segmento Bienestar Único, conducido por Claudia Muñoz. Te invitamos a sintonizarnos el próximo martes desde las 9 de la noche, solo aquí por OBM Radio. Y recuerda que estamos en todas las plataformas de las redes sociales. Búscanos como OBM Radio o accesa a www.obmradio.com. OBM Radio, tu emisora informativa en línea para una vida cristiana mejor.